Hello friends, Jim here with Science Talk. I want to briefly discuss with you uh, this little uh, short summary article that appeared in the online publication EOS, which is part of the Journal of Geophysical Research. And it discusses what's happening with Pine Island. Now it's been a while since I've uh, uh, discussed with you um, the situation down there, but uh, well, we, ha we have some information, new information here. And as you can probably imagine, it's not really good news. Melting below the Pine Island ice shelf mines the gap. New research shows that increased calving from West Antarctica's Pine Island ice shelf will likely drive increased circulation of warm water and melting below the ice. Okay, so here's a photo and they uh, reference two large cracks in the Pine Island ice shelf appear clearly in his image taken by the Copernicus Sentinel-2 satellite back on September 14th of September 2019. The two cracks are referring to, you can see one here where I'm moving the mouse, and the second one here. This is <laughs> this is more than a crack. This is like a bloody chasm <laughs> right there. That's a I mean, this this is uh, oceanic water. Right, that's water. Okay, so what's going on here? The Pine Island Ice Shelf, PIIS, is the seaward extension of Pine Island Glacier, a large and rapidly retreating glacier that drains part of the West Antarctic ice sheet. Beneath the floating PIIS is a seafloor ridge that narrows the gap through which Relatively warm seawater from the open ocean can flow in and circulate beneath the ice shelf. So basically what they're saying is, is this a geological feature that uh, extends up from the uh, seafloor. And this impedes warmer water that can flow under the ice shelf and cause melting from below. This narrowing helps protect the underside of the Pine Island Ice Shelf on the landward side of the seafloor ridge from melting. But in the past decade, the ice shelf has seen large amounts of calving, causing the ice front to retreat toward the continent and approach the ridge. And the calving shows no sign of slowing. Bradley et al. And by the way, I looked at this paper here. It's, it's a humdinger. So uh, very, very involved, very, very technical. Um, it really did not make sense to do a deep dive analysis on it because I would just be explaining a lot of mathematics. What's summed up here in the article is the information that is really germane to our uh, discussion and considerations. And it, and basically what they summed up here was in the abstract. So, you know, this is this does a pretty decent job of summarizing the study. But Bradley et al. investigated how calving of affects the melting of the PIIS. The team used a high-resolution ocean model to simulate ocean circulation and melt rates below the ice shelf, modeling comparing results from both an idealized setting meant to represent the most important features of the ice shelf and ridge and real world conditions that closely match the site characteristics for the PIIS. And a lot of their paper just went, you know, down the rabbit hole on all this uh, simulations and so forth. So they found, now this is the important part, they found that ice shelf melt rates 
are sensitive to the thickness of the gap between the PIIS and the seafloor ridge, suggesting that the changing geometry of the gap with a retreating ice front leads to strengthening of seawater circulation beneath the ice. This is important. They found that the ice shelf melt rates are sensitive to the thickness of the gap between the basically the underside of the ice shelf and the top of the seafloor ridge. What that distance is, that is a determining factor. And thus, to suggest that the changing geometry due to the ice shelf uh, you know, melting back and retreating, the changing geometry of the gap with a retreating ice front leads to a strengthening of seawater circulation beneath the ice. As calving from the, from the ice shelf front continues, the melt rate will increase linearly, the team found becoming 10% higher than it is now by the time the ice front retreats to the ridge line. The researchers say the results highlight that calving could be an important contributor to melting of the West Antarctica's ice sheet. So the, the ice is re retreating, it's melting. As it increases, it allows for a stronger seawater circulation beneath the ice, and the seawater is going to be is going to be warmer, and it's going to help melt the ice sheet from below. You melt it back. You allow more, more water in to help increase the melting, which further in, uh, changes the geometry to allow. Uh, a stronger, warmer water circulation beneath the ice, melting more ice, etc., etc. Geez, what does that sound like? Yes, it's another positive feedback loop, another positive feedback mechanism. Only when we start losing West Antarctic ice sheet, we know a melting of that will significantly raise sea. Uh, levels and you know you know and with Pine Island there's also Thwaites you lose one you lose the other one will quickly go so then we really have rapid sea level rise so um, this is a lot of ice and it could be melting a lot quicker a lot faster than we are supposing I guess it's time to stay tuned. Talk soon. Hello folks, this is Jim here with Science Talk, asking you to please subscribe to my channel and to inform others of my channel and of the work that I do. Please share to social media platforms that you use. Also, as a reminder, don't forget to click the bell so that you know when I load up more videos. Finally, I ask that you Support the work that I do by becoming a patron at patreon.com. Details in the description box below. Thank you for your support.